Listen up, you lot. Are you fed up with the same old boring salads and bland chicken on this keto diet? Do you find yourself craving carbs and reaching for the takeaway menu? Well, get ready to ditch those excuses because today we're diving headfirst into keto meal prep. That's right, I'm going to show you how to conquer your week with delicious, fat-burning meals that will make you actually enjoy this lifestyle change. We're talking about maximum flavor, minimum effort, and absolutely no excuses. Keto meal prep is your secret weapon to staying on track and smashing those cravings. It's about taking control of your diet and making sure you're fueled up with the right stuff, even when you're short on time. No more last minute bad decisions, no more caving to temptation, just pure, unadulterated keto goodness, ready to rock and roll whenever you are. So are you ready to turn your kitchen into a keto powerhouse and become an absolute meal prepping machine? Then grab your aprons, sharpen your knives, and let's get this show on the road. Now before you even think about touching that frying pan, we need a game plan. That's right. We're talking about planning your meals like a culinary commander. This is the foundation of your keto success. So listen up. First things first, grab yourself a pen and paper or open up that notes app on your phone because we're about to get organized. Start by deciding what you want to eat for the week. Think about breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even those all important snacks. Remember, variety is the spice of life, even on keto. Don't be afraid to experiment with different recipes and flavors. The internet is overflowing with keto meal ideas, so get browsing and find what tickles your fancy. Once you've got your meals planned out, it's time to create a shopping list. This is crucial to avoid those impulse buys at the supermarket that can sabotage your hard work. Stick to your list like glue, and you'll be golden. Now let's talk about portion control. It's easy to go overboard when you're prepping for the entire week. But remember, we're aiming for quality over quantity. Invest in some good quality food storage containers to keep your portions in check. And here's a little chef's tip. Don't be afraid to repeat meals. If you find a recipe you absolutely love, there's no shame in doubling up and having it twice a week. It's all about making your life easier. Planning your meals might seem like a small step, but trust me, it's the difference between a chaotic week of bad decisions and a week of keto triumph. So get that plan in place, and you'll be well on your way to smashing those goals. Remember, a well-planned keto meal is a delicious keto meal. Now let's move on to the next step in our culinary journey. Right, you've got your meal plan sorted, your shopping list is primed, and you're ready to hit the supermarket like a culinary ninja. But hold your horses because navigating those aisles on keto can be a minefield if you don't know what you're doing. First things first, ditch the processed crap. You'll find it lurking in the aisles, tempting you with its sugary promises, but resist the urge. We're here for fresh whole foods that will nourish your body and fuel your keto fire. Now head straight for the fresh produce section and load up on those leafy greens. Spinach, kale, lettuce, we want it all. These are your keto superheroes, packed with nutrients and fiber to keep you feeling full and satisfied. Next up, it's time to explore the wonderful world of healthy fats. Don't be afraid of fat, embrace it. Avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, these are your new best friends. They'll keep you feeling full, boost your energy levels, and add a delicious richness to your meals. Now let's talk protein. We're not talking about those processed chicken nuggets, mind you. We want the good stuff. Grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, wild-caught fish. These are your building blocks for keto success. And don't forget about dairy. Full-fat cheese, cream butter, these are all fair game on keto. Just make sure you're choosing high-quality, organic options whenever possible. Now, I know what you're thinking. What about snacks? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Nuts, seeds, berries. These are all great options to keep you going between meals. Remember, shopping smart is all about making informed choices. Read those labels carefully, avoid hidden sugars, and stock up on the good stuff. Now let's get back to the kitchen and start cooking. All right, you've planned your meals, conquered the supermarket, and now it's time to unleash your inner culinary warrior. Batch cooking is the name of the game and trust me, it's a game changer for keto success. Imagine this, you open your fridge and instead of a wasteland of takeout containers and expired yogurt, you're greeted by a glorious array of prepped meals, ready to be devoured. That's the power of batch cooking. Now let's talk strategy. Choose a day of the week that works best for you. Sunday afternoons are a popular choice and dedicate a few hours to cooking up a storm. Trust me, your future self will thank you for it. Start by prepping your ingredients. Chop those veggies, marinate that chicken, portion out those snacks. The more you do now, the easier it will be during the week. Next, fire up those stovetops and get cooking. Think big batch recipes like chili, soups, stews, or roasted veggies. 
These are all perfect for making ahead and reheating throughout the week. Don't forget about breakfast. Whip up a batch of keto-friendly pancakes or muffins, and you'll be good to go all week long. No more excuses for skipping the most important meal of the day. And here's a little chef's tip. Invest in some good quality freezer safe containers. This will allow you to freeze portions of your meals for those days when you're really short on time. Just defrost and reheat, and you've got yourself a delicious homemade keto meal. Batch cooking is all about working smarter, not harder. It's about setting yourself up for success and making sure you always have a nutritious, keto-friendly meal on hand. So embrace the power of batch cooking and watch your keto journey transform. Listen up, you lot. You've put in the hard work, you've cooked up a storm, but now it's time for the final crucial step proper storage. We don't want all that effort going to waste, do we? So pay attention because this is how you keep your keto creations tasting as good as the day you made them. First things first, invest in good quality food storage containers. We're not talking about those flimsy plastic tubs that warp in the microwave. We want sturdy, airtight containers that will lock in freshness and prevent any unwanted flavors from seeping in. Now let's talk about organization. Label everything clearly with the date and contents, so you know what's what and when it needs to be eaten. Trust me, a well-organized fridge is a happy fridge. When it comes to storing your prepped meals, think about how you'll be using them. If you're planning on reheating a meal in the microwave, make sure it's in a microwave-safe container. And if you're freezing meals, use freezer-safe containers and leave some space for expansion. Now let's talk about specific ingredients. Leafy greens will last longer if you store them in the crisper drawer of your fridge, wrapped in a damp paper towel. Avocado can be stored cut side down in an airtight container with a squeeze of lemon juice to prevent browning. And don't forget about those healthy fats. Oils should be stored in a cool, dark place away from direct sunlight. Nuts and seeds can be stored in airtight containers in the pantry or freezer to maintain their freshness. Proper storage is all about maximizing the lifespan of your ingredients and ensuring that your keto meals are always bursting with flavor. So follow these tips and you'll be well on your way to keto meal prep mastery. Now, we all know that sticking to a diet can be a challenge, especially when it comes to those pesky cravings. But fear not my fellow keto warriors because I'm about to let you in on a little secret variety is the spice of life even on keto. That's right, we're ditching the bland and boring and embracing a world of flavor. Who says healthy eating has to be dull? Not in this kitchen. First things first, don't be afraid to experiment with different cuisines. From Asian-inspired stir-fries to Mexican-style fajitas, the possibilities are endless. The internet is your oyster, so get browsing and find recipes that tantalize your taste buds. Next, let's talk about spices. Spices are your secret weapon for transforming ordinary dishes into extraordinary culinary masterpieces. Don't be shy, load up on those herbs and spices and let your taste buds run wild, and don't forget about sauces. A good sauce can make all the difference, adding a burst of flavor and moisture to your meals. Just make sure you're choosing keto-friendly options, like sugar-free ketchup, mayonnaise, or hot sauce. Another great way to mix up your flavors is to experiment with different cooking methods. Roasting, grilling, baking, stir-frying, each method brings out different flavors in your ingredients. And here's a little chef's tip, don't be afraid to get creative with your leftovers. Turn last night's roast chicken into a delicious salad or soup, or use leftover veggies to make a frittata. The possibilities are endless. Remember, sticking to keto doesn't mean sacrificing flavor. Embrace variety, experiment with different cuisines and cooking methods, and most importantly, have fun in the kitchen. There you have it, you Muppets. Keto meal prep doesn't have to be a punishment. It's about taking control of your health, your diet, and your life. With a bit of planning, some smart shopping, and a dash of culinary creativity, you can create delicious, satisfying meals that will keep you on track and fuel your keto journey. Remember, this isn't about deprivation. It's about making positive changes that will benefit you in the long run. So ditch those excuses, embrace the challenge, and show keto who's boss. Now tell me, what's your biggest challenge when it comes to meal prepping for keto? Let me know in the comments below, and let's conquer this together.